over the years, uh, uh, back even before I was uh, elected mayor, I, I ran into Curtis and uh, got to know him and then he drops into the office quite often and I'll and, uh, get to know him even closer and, and I'll, uh, a great guy and uh, has a lot of a lot of ideas and a lot of passion for community and, and all and so it gives me great pleasure to be here for you today and uh, also to uh, read this uh, proclamation that uh, kind of as it it honors an extraordinary gentleman and wow. um, um, uh, that's that's the kind of way to look at you you're, you're so multi-talented and but your heart's in that right place and also it gives me great pleasure to read this thank you curtis reads uh, positive energy is contagious curtis has shown that no matter the size of the gesture a smile that brightens someone else's day or a kind word from this man who never met a stranger we can all take an active part in making a difference and whereas Curtis continue to, continues to dazzle and amaze his fans, his friends, his community, with his charisma, charm, and uh, given spirit, now therefore I feel at Craighead, Mayor of the City of Lebanon, do hereby proclaim Saturday, January 23, 2016, as Curtis Reed Day, and we are so proud for you to call Lebanon your home. In recognition of his exceptional ability to extend himself and bring community members together, Curtis Reed is recognized as Goodwill Ambassador for Lebanon, Tennessee, with appreciation from the members of the community touched by Mr. Reed's humanity and kindness without judgment and prejudice. January 23, 2016. That's a beautiful That is beautiful. Right? Really not. You know, Curtis is, uh, my relationship with Curtis came from working out to Jimmy Floyd uh, in the mornings. And most of the time people would say, uh-oh, here comes Curtis. <laughs> and a few laughs in here, because if you were there, you know, when Curtis comes, you're not going to get much working out done, because Curtis is going to talk a little bit. <laughs> But uh, probably if you go back and, and, and relate yourself to the Bible uh, of the Good Samaritan, Curtis is that kind of guy. You know, we live in a great city of Lebanon with great leadership, and a lot of those leaders are here today. Curtis is that leader that you want out there in the community putting people together. So many times, and I know in talking with Miss Barbara and others of you that I see here that are new to our town, and, uh, that, uh, that are just here. Curtis enjoys linking people together. And I think the thing that was said earlier that probably means the most is that he don't want anything in return. Curtis cares about you as a person. He wants the best for you. I see Odd in the back back there that, that he's you know become a great friend to and welcome to our country. But I think of, of all of this, of all the people that came out here today, it's probably only just a portion of the lives that Curtis has touched. And you know, as we as individuals could carry the characteristics that Curtis have, has, we would be a lot better place to live. Because he's always trying to find out what you need, who you need to know, and link those people together. So Curtis, I'm not gonna read this, mm -hmm. but I do appreciate uh, what you mean to Wilson County, as well as Lebanon. Thank you for your ideas, your initiative to make things happen. I don't know if you had a chance to see it or not, but he interviewed me riding a bicycle and he was running. You know, just certain things and we put it on our website. We've had you know, a lot of hits since that time. So he's always thinking outside the box. And Curtis, uh, you know, this day is well deserved. So thank you thank so you. much for being a citizen of Wilson County in Lebanon and thank you for what you do here and the example you lead for others. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Craighead and Mayor Hutto.
your um, remarks hit a chord with me in many different ways. Thank you. Um, I'll make my remarks very brief. Um, you'll see little sayings on the tables around the room. Um, I don't know the exact source of these sayings, but the title is Instructions for Life. And um, I think that this probably, the, this compilation of quotes was done by the Dalai Lama. But when I look at different quotes within this body of instructions for life, I think of Curtis quite often. So as you're meeting and mingling, just uh, take a look at the little stand-up uh, cards on the tables. There's also a sheet in the back if you'd like to take one with you. Um, I think they're good instructions for life for everyone, things for us to aspire to, mm -hmm. and things that uh, Curtis already has accomplished. <laughs> and thank you for coming. I'll turn the program over to Curtis to finish out. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. I am truly, truly, I'm very humble. I truly am and surprised to... I knew that something was going on. I told Janie, I said, what's going on between you and Barbara? I said, something's going on. She says, Nothing, nothing's going on. I said, okay. And going and kept going and kept going. And finally, I got a little hint of what was going on. But I am just so, so very honored and pleased. And uh, like I said, again, I'm just so very humbled. But uh, what I would like to do, I'd like to share something with you. Um, I always use the term like, who understands the unpredictability of fate? <laughs> who understands that? Um, there's a guy by the name of Robert uh, Fulgham, wrote a book called uh, All I Need to Know, All I Really Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. So I think everybody needs to check it out. Cause all I need to know I really learned in kindergarten, look both ways before you cross the street, Drink warm pavlum before you go to bed at night. Honor thy mother and thy father. You know, that sort of hold hands when you go across the street. Well, that, but I live by that. And I think it's a very good book and uh, suggest that uh, you guys pick up a copy of it. It's very, very informative. And I'd like to share with you that in Scotland, they have a tradition that uh, when they have a feast, they will have an a empty space there at the table, an empty setting for a stranger who might come in. Not knowing who that stranger might be, or that stranger might be the one to influence your life, you just don't know, or an angel, so we say. And so I don't have that little space at my table every day, but what I do have, I do have that space in my heart for the angel, and uh, for that special person who may come into my life. And I would like to say that uh, Barbara Payne, thank you for being my guardian angel. It's very kind of you to do this and put this together, and I want to thank you. Can we give her a hand? Thank you. And on that note, again, I want to say thank you, Mayor Hutto, Mayor Craighead, Paula, Debbie, Carly, everybody, Alabama who drove up and drove. Oh, you got to watch my new video. Uh, this is CurtisReed.com. Check out the YouTube channel, and you'll see my friend Alabama in there. He's singing too. I'm a star when I'm in my car. Thank you, Alabama. I got, I got to share this, and then I'll go. I got to tell you people how Alabama and I met. I'm riding down the road in, in the, on my way to Atlanta, and I'm singing, I just written the song, so I'm singing the tracks, and I just got the music tracks playing in the car, and I'm singing along with the tracks, and I'm saying to myself, I would love to have an old rustic vehicle in this video. And lo and behold, this gentleman and his wife, Barb, hi there, <laughs> they, was, they rode up past me in that the 1955 Lincoln rustic looking Lincoln and I said oh my goodness this is nothing but divine intervention here I've got to pull this guy over <laughs> so I pulled him over on the side of the highway and I said sir I'm not hijacking you or anything like that I said here's my card I'm in the music business and 
I would love to have this car in my video. And he gets out, he said, well, my name is Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> he said, sure, you can use a car in your video, but make a long story short, we're best friends now, and uh, thank you. Thank you for coming, for driving, driving up, my friend. Again, all of you, thank you for taking the time, especially in the snow and everything, and I know how crazy it is outside, but I love you so much for it. I love you. Thanks again. God bless all of you. Thank you. First time. <laughs> Very blessed to be a part of this celebration. And we also have a message here from someone very special in your life. They can't be here today, but they have written you a very nice message, and I'd like to read that at okay. this time. Okay. Curtis Reed, the value of this man. What is the value of this man? His genuine worth to himself and to his loved ones. What has he accomplished thus far in his life? to warrant affirmation for deeds rendered? How is he constantly moving the pillar of life in a direction favoring all he encounters, engages with, and entertains? The true value of this man is not measured in numbers alone, although they are impressive, but in the meaning of them beginning with love and ending with it and all the goodwill, acceptance, kindness, tolerance, compassion, care, and understanding that there is in between. The absolute value of this man is based not on who he is, but rather on those he made more complete. For them loving him, listening to him, learning from him, the value of this man can only truly be appraised by the plethors of people he accepted as his own. His ultimate evaluation comes from their hearts only attached to his own for a lifetime. I absolutely love the fact that my fabulous big brother is being honored for being such a valuable good man of goodwill. For the way that you live and the way that you love and for all that you do, Curtis, we celebrate you and we love you. This was humbly submitted and written by Don David Norwood and Roe. Oh, wow. oh, wow. yes. Buffalo, New York. Okay. Yes. yes. And there are some other very special messages here that have been written to you by the guests. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. God, what a surprise. You guys never cease to amaze me, I tell you. Thank you so much, and God bless all of you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Three little words. I've got to say.